During the awful moment when he learned that Diana had passed away, a photographer who works for the royal family has recalled a photograph that he will never forget. During an interview with The Sun, Arthur Edwards shared his story of his experience working on the sad day of August 31, 1997, and the realization that a big part of his life was gone forever and ever. At a time when the entire world is getting ready to pay tribute to Princess Diana on the occasion of the anniversary of her passing on Saturday, the famed royal photographer shared his thoughts on the catastrophic day. According to what he said, I was at a wedding in Kent. During the time that we were driving back to our house, I received a phone call from the office informing me that Princess Diana had been involved in an accident in Paris, but they believed that she was safe because she was travelling in a Mercedes. They advised me to get in Paris as soon as possible in the morning, and there was a flight departing from Heathrow at 6.30 in the morning. In addition, it seemed inevitable that the situation would deteriorate further as the trip back from Kent continued. The news that her partner, Dodie Fayed, had passed away came to her like a sudden flash. At this point, the situation is becoming extremely serious, and Diana was taken to the hospital in an emergency. By that time, the son had requested a plane to take out from Heathrow. When I went home, I didn't even bother to change out of my wedding suit. After quickly grabbing my camera bag, I made my way to the airport in a hurry. The phone rang at the office, and it was the picture editor who informed me that Diana had passed away. Everybody went into action, I got a cab, went straight to the tunnel, where she had the tragic accident and there was a lady, a girl lying flowers at the 13th pillar, I think is where the car crashed. When Mr. Edwards arrived at the hospital, he found out that the Prince of Wales, who is now known as King Charles, was going to come and receive Diana's body. A further arrangement was made with the embassy by the royal photographer in order to take photographs of her coffin. On the other hand, I had a conversation with Paul Barrell. It was a dress that they brought over for her, and everyone was extremely angry about it. After that, I went around the back and took this incredible image, which I still look at and think about to this day. I started to get upset because, you know, I suddenly realized this woman I'd worked with for 17 years was indeed in that coffin. The acclaimed photographer recalled being present during the burial procession of Diana, which was attended by people from all around the world who were also experiencing a great deal of grief. He went on to say, the most heartbreaking of all was, of course, seeing William and Harry walking behind the coffin with their father, and of course, their uncle, Lord Spencer, and the Duke of Edinburgh. In point of fact, I have been informed that the Duke of Edinburgh was the one who persuaded William to walk. Because it was clear that William was a young boy who was experiencing a great deal of anguish at the death of his mother, just like Harry was. To add insult to injury, it is alleged that the Duke told William, if you walk, I will walk with you. Then then that was the end of it, and they did it. There was a woman who yelled out, God bless you, Harry. God bless you, Harry. I will never forget it. The photographer who was standing next to me, with whom I had collaborated for twenty years, was sobbing uncontrollably. Every single person was. It was a great amount of grief. It just reminds me of the wonderful times we had, you know, from touring the different countries around the world, where she would be dressed with a headscarf on, or she would be wearing a beautiful headband or amazing tiras. Mr. Edwards said, speaking further about his recollections of Diana, it just reminds me of the wonderful times we had. The woman in question had a significant role in my life, and it is a portion of my life that I will never forget. As well as being a delightful person to collaborate with, she was also a lot of fun. When it was reported that Princess Diana had passed away on August 31, 1997, the news crushed the hearts of millions of people all around the world. Since her passing, a number of moving memorials have been placed all around London to celebrate Diana's life and work. She was known to many as the People's Princess, and such tributes have been placed in a variety of locations. In a car accident that occurred in the Pont de l'Alma traffic tunnel in Paris on August 31, 1997, Princess Diana, 
who was also known as Diana Frances Spencer, ended up passing away as a result of the terrible injuries she sustained. At close proximity to the Seine River, the tunnel may be found at the very centre of the capital of France. Henry Paul, who was both the driver and the security guard, as well as a friend Dodi Fayed, were also slain in the disaster that occurred. Despite suffering terrible injuries, Trevor Rees Jones, who was Diana's bodyguard, managed to survive the disaster. A total of 32.1 million people watched the funeral service for Diana, which took place on September 6, 1997, at Westminster Abbey. The funeral was broadcast on British television. An inquest that was held in London in 2008 came to the conclusion that the princess had been murdered in an unlawful manner. Henry Paul, who was driving Diana, was found to have engaged in severely negligent driving, as well as the pursuit of paparazzi cars, according to the findings of the inquiry.